Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our GATE webinar. We welcome you and we welcome you to GATE programming. Gifted and Talented Education is located on the Michigan State University campus in East Lansing, Michigan, and we are in the Department of the University Outreach and Engagement. First, we're gonna take a look at a GATE overview, which will highlight all of the GATE programs that are available for summer and in our academic years. Please remember that during non-COVID times, we are allowed to host uh, our programs on campus. This year, all of our 2021 summer programs will be online as well as our beginning, our fall academic year will only be available online. Uh, hopefully we will see you uh, in beginning in 2022 on some on our campus for some of our other programming. If you do have any questions throughout today, please continue to ask them in the Q&A that you'll find uh, on your Zoom screen. Or of course, you can email us anytime during this webinar, or you may email us 24 seven after today at gifted at msu.edu. Now we're gonna hear a little bit about GATE and all of our summer and academic year programs. If you are interested in any of the programs and want more or additional information, please continue to go to the GATE website uh, gifted.msu.edu is available 24 seven and has uh, more information about each of the programs and what is available and what is required for your application. So now let's hear about GATE. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for join us, joining us. A big hello from Michigan State University. We're gonna go ahead and get started and talk a little bit about gifted and talented education at Michigan State University. Once again, thanks for joining us uh, on this Sunday afternoon. So once again, hello for all of you who are joining us uh, and have interest in GATE programming. Again, GATE or Gifted and Talented Education is located on the Michigan State University campus in East Lansing, Michigan. And we are in the department of the University Outreach and Engagement. This presentation will be an overview of GATE and all of our programs that we offer. Although dates, times, and locations may vary, especially during COVID times, please do check our website for the most up-to-date information about which programs are running at which locations and those dates and times. A little history about GATE. We were established over 35 years ago with our CHAMP program, our mathematics program. GATE was actually created to accommodate gifted mathematical students in the Ingham County School Districts. And GATE has since expanded into multiple programs at several sites around Michigan and now in a live online synchronous section. GATE offers programs for gifted children all year long. Our academic programs include mathematics or CHAMP, English language literature arts or iShell, and we offer a few different language programs as well. In the summer, we offer students in grades three through 11, many different options in our Guppy program, IS4GT, MST, and MSTL at MSU. Parents typically ask why they need a gifted program for their gifted child, and what are the benefits? Several studies have actually shown the positive effects of gifted programs on gifted children. Research shows a significant correlation between emotional intelligence and self-efficacy among gifted and talented students participating in week-long summer educational programs. The summer programs actually do promote and help to develop their emotional intelligence. The research also stresses that these gifted programs that provide like-minded peers and offer accelerated learning are not only beneficial but become even more advantageous if they begin between fourth and seventh grade. Gifted programming positively influences students' futures. Several longitudinal studies have shown that gifted programs have a positive effect on students' post-secondary plans. For example, studies have found that identified during adolescence, gifted children who receive gifted services through the, the secondary level of their education actually have pursued doctoral degrees at more than 50 times the base rate expectations. 
Additionally, a significant body of research empirically demonstrates positive outcomes and in academic and scholastic areas resulting from the provision of these kinds of accelerated classes and programs developed for gifted students. These out long-term outcomes are things such as creative achievements and emotional stability all the way into adulthood. So why choose a GATE program? Because we always offer accelerated instruction for your gifted child's achievement and learning needs. And our instructors challenge students with open discourse and debate, all the while developing good study skills that they can use for college. All of our academic and summer programs provide opportunities for experiences with like ability peers. This has demonstrated to benefit gifted students, not only academically, but also socially and psychologically. All academic year programs in GATE are conducted at a fast pace. Middle and early high school students who qualify are double accelerated into high school classes. These high school curriculum classes help students graduate from a GATE academic year program for the required levels of high school graduation. All of our academic year programs, excluding manga, are two-year programs and manga, our Japanese program, is three years in length. More information about these programs is available at gifted.msu.edu. Here's a quick example of some of our GATE curriculum and how accelerated the academic year programs really are. As you see here, students in CHAMP or in our math program would actually be completing Algebra 1 in one semester in GATE as compared to a regular school in which they would complete it in one full academic year. CHAMP students would complete Algebra 1 in the fall semester and move into Algebra 2 in the winter or spring semester in January and so on. As you see, our foreign languages do work heavily into AP prep for students into the last semester or the year of the program. So students may register with their home school in November to take the May AP test to receive AP credit in the foreign language course of their choices in GATE. Their final test scores will apply for their home school's requirement and they may even be able to use those AP scores as college prerequisites or even college credit. Again, please check out gifted.msu for more information. There's more class descriptions, videos about the programs and view messages from a couple of our different GATE instructors. Some of our GATE programs, I have a couple of different locations and choices involved in them. Let's take a quick look before we move on at our academic programs and their structure. All of our academic programs are taught by MSU instructors and are held one to two days per week, either in person or live online for two and a half hours. In addition, live tutoring labs are held throughout the week for GATE students to support them. They can attend these tutoring labs to ask questions, work on homework, and prepare for exams. All of our academic year programs do meet common core standards, and we re but we do require all parents to check with their districts about accepting MSU GATE credit for their high school graduation requirements. Classes operate like a normal academic year course and that there are scheduled parent and teacher conferences throughout, progress reports and final semester grade transcripts are sent from Michigan State University's GATE program to the student's home school. For more information, once again, check out gifted.msu.edu and Michigan State University, Southeastern Michigan will all be online until further notice and during COVID restrictions, but we will have live synchronous sections until we do return to campus uh, and satellite location programming. We do have a third section, which is the live uh, section, live synchronous online section this year as well. So just to recap, we are currently registering for these three sections, the Michigan State University section, which will be East Lansing campus, which will be currently online until we uh, are permitted to have a physical location uh, on the East Lansing campus, and that will be Champ Aishul and Manga. For the Southeastern Michigan location, we will be online until further notice uh, and COVID restrictions are lifted and that would be Champ, Aishal, and Manga as well. Uh, and then we do our, offer a live synchronous online session 
for Champ and Eichel that will be uh, live online for the duration of the entire two years of the program. Again, check out the dates, times, and locations and more information on our website. Moving on to summer gate programs, which we're going to go into more in depth uh, throughout uh, the presentations. Uh, and these will be recorded so you can check back uh, and take another look at these. Uh, if you miss any information, we will post them on our website over the next few days. Uh, but real quickly, our summer gate programs, we do host a number of them in uh, for grades three through 11. The programs are actually developed to keep gifted students in mind and the curriculum is typically designed to challenge them at least two to three grades higher than the normal grade curriculum. In non-COVID times, our summer programs are typically held on the Michigan State University campus. We do normally offer day commuter programs uh, for students to come to campus in grades three through 11. And we do in normal years, non-COVID years, provide housing for accepted students in 12 years old and up. However, for the summer of 2021, we will be unable to host in-person programming due to the MSU COVID restrictions, but we will be offering a variety of online synchronous programming that is live with many of our current GATE summer instructors. Gifted University for Parents and Precocious Youth, or GUPI, Intensive Studies for Gifted and Talented, IS4GT, Math, Science and Technology, MST and MSU, Math, Science and Technology and Leadership, and MSTL at MSU. We also offer a program called Summer Math Online or SEMO. As you can see, most of these programs do offer STEAM related courses, including chemistry, art, math, and writing classes. And all of the 2021 online offerings are available on the GATE website uh, with detailed descriptions. Guppy, which is our youngest program, our Guppy is Gifted University for Parents and Precocious Youth, and it provides opportunities for our young gifted children in grades three through six to learn at an advanced pace during the summer months. Programs range from three to five days in length. For on-campus face-to-face, we typically in non-COVID years uh, have families from outside of Lansing uh, stay at local low-cost hotels for daily commuter drop-off to campus. Parent university is typically offered to all guppy parents to, just, to attend a presentation, typically in July during non-COVID times. IS4GT, or Intensive Study for Gifted and Talented, is a one-week program that offers accelerated opportunities for gifted children in grades six through 11, depending on the program. Typically, again, we host this program on campus, but for summer of 2021, all of IS4GT classes will be held in a live, synchronous online format. The program then takes one main topic within a discipline for that week and allows GATE students to take a deep dive into that area of interest the world of computer science, live coding, computer art, introduction to audio programming are a couple of the different uh, types of programs we are offering this year. Not to mention, we are very excited to offer a pre-law program called Litigate. One of our most popular and our oldest programs for summer is MST at MSU, or Math Science Technology at Michigan State University. This program is held for a one week for one week for rising eighth and ninth graders. So that would be you eighth, seventh and eighth graders currently at the time of application. This is an opportunity to work with experts in math, science and technology in a three course track format. For example, a gate participant may choose a track which includes astrophysics, competitive math and studio arts or statistics, 3D animation and Java development for their one week experience. Again, typically during non COVID restrictions, Gate participants 12 and over are invited to stay with us on campus in residential housing. In non-COVID years, they enjoy the exciting on-campus bonuses such as dining halls and coordinated evening and weekend activities. This year, the programs will be held as a live synchronous virtual program with the same instructors teaching your gifted students from the comfort of their home. More information about each of these programs will be detailed later as well as it is available on our website. MSTL or Math, Science, Technology and Leadership is available for our rising 10th and 11th graders, which are you stu students who are currently in 9th and 10th grade during the application period. These students have an opportunity to choose class classes in Math, Science or Technology and Leadership for a two week period. Typically, again, during non COVID restrictions, we typically invite students 12 and over and invite them to stay with us on campus. This year, 
Programs, of course, will be held online through a synchronous virtual program with the same instructors, and we will be offering a one course track during the two weeks in summer that will include physics, molecular biology, and music technology 101. SUMO, Summer Math Online. Created and piloted last summer of 2020, it was a very success successful program that was actually developed based on the concern for the COVID slide that students were facing due to the disruptive school environment that we faced last this time last year. Three studies based on NWEA data predicted students could learn half or up to a full year less math in 20, 2020 and 2021 compared to what they would have learned in a typical school year during non-COVID time. SUMO helps combat that. Classes are filling up fast, so if you are interested in SUMO this summer, please check us out later this afternoon for our SUMO program uh, oversight and begin your application as soon as possible. Now we're gonna hear a little bit from one of our past GATE students. Hi, my name is Emily and I have attended GATE programs in the past. I really enjoyed taking math, science, art, and other types of classes at a higher level. I had lots of fun engaging with other gifted students my age. I totally recommend that you go to a GATE program this year. Thank you. Thanks to Emily. She's been with us for many years and has joined in many of our different programs. If you are interested in applying for a GATE program now or even in the near future, the GATE application timeline typically runs from January through August, depending on the program and the location. Online applications open in January, summer applications close in May, and some academic year programs do close in May, and some academic year programs close uh, in throughout the summer. You can check gifted.msu.edu in each program for those exact dates. Please keep in mind that programs may close as they fill. So although applications may remain open until May or even until August, all programs will close when they are filled. If and when you do decide to apply to a GATE program, you should review the program application requirements at our GATE website. You will be prompted originally to create a profile. This profile will remain with you for as long as you are an eligible GATE participant. You will not have to recreate the profile, but will be asked every year to update the profile when you decide to return to GATE. The application you will change every year that you choose a new GATE program. That application will be completed entirely online and you will be able to upload any required documents. Your profile checklist will show as you have submitted all of the necessary documents, once they are submitted and shown that you have completed everything that is necessary, your application will then go for an application review and you will be notified soon after of your acceptance. You may review cost payment structures on the GATE website, as well as there is a financial aid application available if you're in need of financial assistance for either class materials or tuition. There is very detailed information on the website on how to apply for this. Uh, so please check it out at gifted.msu.edu slash paying slash costs. All GATE programs do require above grade level standardized testing so to submit an application, excluding Guppy. The testing should have been completed within the last three years from the date of your application. Please refer to the GATE website for accepted assessments and eligibility for each program. You may choose to test. If you need standardized testing, you may choose to test through any licensed testing service, or you may test through a board certified licensed psychologist for an IQ test if you wish. If you do not currently have standardized testing and you do are in need of it, you may take the COGAT or the Cognitive Abilities Test with GATE. We offer many options from now until the application deadline. We are offering the COGAT online as well as some in-person testing at the Michigan State University's Testing Center. Again, if you are not in the Michigan State University area, we are offering the COGAT online. You may register online at our website in the testing folder 
dates are available during the application period. As they fill, new dates and new times will be open. Time slots do fill quickly, but we do add additional test dates as needed during our application timeframe. To view the current testing dates available for your grade, or just to register to take the COGEC, please go to the GATE website at gifted.msu.edu and click testing. Please continue to follow us on social media. If not, please log on to one of our social media. If not, all of uh, our different postings are available for information, logs, events. Sometimes we post a lot of different information just about uh, gifted events in general. It's not necessarily always about GATE, uh, but we do post some really interesting events that we do find and want to share with you. We also have special giveaways throughout the year that are available to enter to some of our followers. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If after today you should have a question and you would like to ask us in the GATE office, feel free to email us 24 seven at gifted at msu.edu and the GATE staff will answer your question as soon as possible. We are very excited and thankful for your interest in GATE, gifted and talented education at Michigan State University. Please stay tuned uh, for our next presentation, which we will start talking a little bit about Guppy and share with you a little bit more information about all of our Guppy options for this summer. Before we take a look at Guppy, we're going to highlight a couple of different programs and hear from some of our GATE instructors along the way. So we're calling all future JDs. Do you have an 8th through to 11th grader interested in studying law? GATE has partnered with Western Michigan Cooley Law School to provide students an opportunity for an early exposure to understand and about studying law. The summer of 2021 will offer an IS4GT program or in intensive studies for gifted and talented education called Pre-Law Litigate, an intensive study in prosecuting and defending a criminal case. This will be live online for the week of June 28th through July 2nd. So let's check it out. excited about our partnership with Western Michigan University and Cooley Law School. So if your child or student is interested in studying law and checking out Litigate, go to gifted at msu.edu and click on summer programs. Now we're going to go over to our academic year programs 
And we'd like you to hear from one of our champion, longtime champ instructors, Mr. Ryan McCombs. Uh, Ryan teaches on the MSU campus, uh, but as you know, most of our programs uh, will be online until uh, future notifications from Michigan State University. So including all of our academic year programs, we will be online through uh, December of 2021. Check out Ryan McCombs. He's going to give you a little bit of an overview of how CHAMP works. So if your student is interested in an accelerated math program and they're in middle or early high school, our program runs for four year, or for two years and it covers four years of curriculum. So uh, Ryan is going to talk to you a little bit about that. If, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate at any time to post them in the Q&A or email us at 24-7 at gifted at msu.edu. Ryan. Hi there, everyone. My name is Ryan McCombs, and I teach the year two CHAMP students at MSU. Uh, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the CHAMP program, but I'm not going to be going into so many specifics as far as the you know, particular subjects and things like this that are covered in each class. Instead, the GATE office has a wonderful website where these things are well covered, and you should check them out there. Uh, instead, what I want to talk to you today about is really the core beliefs of the CHAMP program. And they're all centralized around getting your student prepared to not you know, just succeed in college, but really to thrive in college. One thing that we do to that end is we use the college pacing of one class per semester. That means that the four years of high school math get condensed down into just two years. We also push our students to really become independent learners. Our typical setup is that we have class two and a half hours per week where we cover new content, but we also expect our students to learn some things on their own. We want to train our students to use their textbooks. And as a side note, I know that reading STEM textbooks doesn't sound that fun, um, but honestly, I can say that I wish that I learned this skill a lot earlier in my life. Uh, it was probably the junior year of college for me personally, where I had an instructor where I didn't click with it all. Um, and I tried to look for videos online or other ways to kind of explain the material to me where I could actually grasp it. Um, but nothing really lined up with my class. And so that's when I really had to force myself to sit down and learn how to read a textbook. Um, in order, you know, not just the practice problems or things like this, but, you know, really understand the textbook. And uh, then I was, I mean, I was eventually able to succeed in the class and all that sort of stuff, but it was hard. I mean, you know, being a, a junior in college, I had a lot of other things going on. And so I really wish that I would have learned that a lot earlier in life. And so I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say is that being able to read a math textbook is extremely valuable. Uh, I think that everyone eventually finds a time where they don't really click with the instructor or the professor that uh, they have and being able to get another resource, another viewpoint um, provided, you know, often by the textbook is extremely valuable. Um, I, I do want to mention that even though we do have this push, right, for students becoming um, independent learners, this isn't without safety nets. I mean, we have uh, some online forums, we have weekly um, usually you know, several times a week, actually, uh, these study sessions and things like this where students can come and ask clarifying questions or they can just hang out and work on their homework and stuff like this. And perhaps the last thing I want to bring up is that all of our CHAMP classes are taught by MSU instructors and professors. Uh, I personally think that this has tremendous value. Uh, I know that when I'm not teaching CHAMP, I'm supervising and teaching the calculus sequence here at MSU. And so that means when I am teaching CHAMP, right, I'm making those connections for my students. I'm telling them, you know, when the material that we're learning today is going to be appearing, you know, in calculus and in their future classes. Uh, and I'm, you know, constantly trying to make these connections. I also try to push beyond the standard curriculum. And, you know, I tell the students why I find math so interesting. And, you know, and this is, an, of course, an effort to spark their own curiosity and their own interests about mathematics. So that's where I'd like to leave the video. I hope that you've learned something here, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thanks so much to Ryan. He's one of our longtime CHAMP instructors. 
and it was nice to see an overview. Uh, just to mention also uh, beyond the MSU campus area, we are hosting an online champ and ISHL section that will last um, in a live synchronous format for the two year period. So that is available for those folks who are unable to make it to the MSU campus. We will have a live two year section in CHAMP and ISHL available. So that is available as uh, an option for our various location opportunities. So moving on, we're gonna go back to Hi our there. summer programs and we're gonna highlight one of our intensive studies again uh, for gifted and talented education in writing. So if you have a sixth or ninth grader who loves to write, Gates' very own ISHL instructor, Dr. James Davis, hosts a summer writing intensive course. Uh, this year, he's focusing on fiction writing, focus on space and place. So this is a two-week IS4GT, which will be held in a live virtual format during the weeks of July 2012 through the 23rd, Monday through Friday. So let's take a peek and hear from James all about fiction writing. Hi, everyone. This is James Davis, Dr. James Davis, and I'm giving a little bit of information about the, the fiction and nonfiction writing course with the focus on space and place. Uh, of course, this is for the July summer session of uh, the GATE programming, and we're excited that we'll be able to continue this online. Uh, last year, we did a writing course, uh, a little bit different one, of course, uh, that we ran for the two weeks, and the students really enjoyed the pacing of that. The idea that we were able to balance some reading and writing over that time. So this course in particular is really focused on setting uh, and setting as character. And so we're excited about looking at the ways in which fiction and non-fiction works create real and surreal settings and, and how the variations of that take place and how they're significant to text overall. And certainly if you're a writer uh, and you're thinking about the ways in which you write either uh, in fiction, right, creatively, or in nonfiction in terms of trying to really have that detailed descriptions of things as they are. We're going to work quite a bit uh, through those ideas and, and look really carefully at what it means to familiarize and defamiliarize those settings and work with some, some keen descriptions of those spaces. So really excited for it. It'll be a combination of reading and writing. We will look at some example texts. Of course, we will look at your own writing as text as well, and uh, excited to have you in the class. All right. Thanks to Dr. Davis, uh, who highlighted a little bit about our writing intensive this summer. Again, that is available, and it will be online for that two-week session, live online with Dr. Davis. Uh, so moving on, we're going to now highlight, uh, as we mentioned earlier, we're going to highlight our MSU Gate Guppy program. The Guppy is Gifted University for Parents and Precocious Youth, and it provides an opportunity for our young gifted children in grades third through six to learn at an advanced pace during the summer months. Programs do range from uh, this year for five days. Uh, typically, when we are on campus, we range from three to five days. Uh, for our on-campus face-to-face classes, families typically do uh, stay in a local low-cost hotel and drop off for daily commute during non-COVID times. So if you're interested um, for future in 2022, we hope to uh, uh, start again our Guppy program on campus. But this summer, we will be hosting them virtually live uh, with many of our regular Guppy instructors. So uh, we're going to show you a little bit of an overview now for Guppy. So again, just a reminder, if you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A. Uh, this can be questions about Guppy or any other programs along the way. And again, if you'd like to email us directly, you can do so at gifted at msu.edu. And now let's hear a little bit more about the Gate Guppy program. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Michigan State University welcomes you to our virtual session. My name is Susan Sheff, and I am the Director of GATE, Gifted and Talented Education at Michigan State University. Thanks again, and we're going to go ahead and do an overview of our GATE Guppy program. This information session will be all about our Guppy, or our Gifted University for Parents and Precocious Youth program. It provides an opportunity for all of your young gifted children in grades three through six to learn at an advanced pace during the summer months. Programs in Guppy range from three to five days in length. Thank you.
thank you again for your interest in gifted and talented education at Michigan State U University. First, just a little background about GATE. We are located on the Michigan State University campus in East Lansing, Michigan, and we are in the Department of the University of Outreach and Engagement. We do host academic year programs for high school credit, and in non-COVID years, we offer on-campus summer programming. There are many examples of acceleration for gifted children and GATE does offer fast paced curriculum that gifted students need. Hundreds of studies indicate that accelerated students do perform better academically than older students in their classes and equally able same age peers who are not accelerated. Accelerated students retain what they learn, pursue more challenging majors, earn higher salaries and produce more creative products than comparative students. Acceleration is very important for some gifted students to stay engaged in school, and it will also help them develop life skills that will keep them cha facing challenges and overcoming setbacks throughout their life. Guppy, or Gifted University for Parents and Precocious Youth, provides an opportunity for our young gifted children in grades three through six to learn at an advanced pace during the summer months. Programs do range from three to five days in length. Now, during our non-COVID restriction days, we typically hold all of these on campus as a face-to-face -face class. And again, in non-COVID times, we do invite families from Lansing and outside of Lansing to invite to them to stay with us at nearby low-cost hotels or daily commuter drop-off to campus where parent, parents and students can typically enjoy all of the, the specialties of the campus, including dining halls and some of our bonus activities, again, during non-COVID times. Parent University is also an option that we typically offer during non-COVID times to all Guppy parents to attend presentations from regional gifted experts. Uh, we do invite all parents again during non-COVID times uh, for the Parent University. We will be offering Guppy online this summer for 2021. We did offer online quite a few options last year uh, with great success. Due to COVID restrictions that are, that are implemented currently by Michigan State University Youth College programs, we will have to hold all of our Guppy programs online this summer again. Our Guppy programs for 2021 will be online with your choice of three different weeks. Classes during these weeks will be for one hour class sessions. And these one hours are broken up from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. These are live synchronous classes. And the majority of our classes are taught by our same Guppy instructors with, that have developed the courses with gifted kids in mind. The curriculum is developed two to three grade levels above their grade and age level. Also challenging Guppies in areas of STEM and STEAM and beyond. Our first week this summer online, we will be offering a track, first of all, for third and fourth graders interested in learning about Chinese culture, entomology, and theater arts. As you can see, our track A there, beginning at 9 a.m., class one is the Chinese culture, class two, entomology, class three, theater arts. They will remain in that track for the entire week, Monday through Friday, June 21st through 25th. And again, that track is for third and fourth graders. For our fifth and sixth graders during the week of June 21st through 25th, our fifth and sixth graders may opt that for a track in bigger study and art, wilderness survival in the outdoors, and human immunology. If you are interested in either one of these tracks, either A for our third or fourth graders, or G for our fifth and sixth graders, then you can go to gifted.msu.edu and we have more information and course descriptions available. Before we do move on to our next Guppy track, let's just take a quick listen from one of our recent Guppy students. Hi, my name is Cielo, and today I'm going to be sharing my experience at the Guppy 2019 program. I had an coding class, an art class, a math class, and a Harry Potter class. My favorite was the coding because it was simple, yet it kept me really entertained. But, and I also really liked the art class because we did a new project every single day and at the end it formed a bigger project. And I also
also like the math class. I don't really like math that much, but this class was actually really fun. We did a lot of different shapes that looked hard, but it actually wasn't it wasn't too bad. And then I actually learned how to do origami, so that was that was nice. Another great thing is you get to meet a lot of nice people. I ended up making a few friends that I still actually talk to today. The teachers there are really, really nice. They're like normal teachers at like your school. They make you feel comfortable to make, you, make sure you know what you're doing. To just make sure you, you have, you're having a good time. One last good thing I'm gonna share is that you get to eat at Shaw. It's basically a buffet. It has like normal food. It has desserts, very good. And yeah, that's my experience at the Guppy program. If any of that interests you, you might want to consider signing up. Awesome. Thanks, Cecilia, one of our Guppy participants for many years now. Um, and so all information about different Guppy programs and what is available for 2021 online virtually this summer is available on the gifted.msu.edu website. If you click on summer and then click on Guppy, uh, you'll be able to see which tracks are currently available for your students. Just a reminder, Guppy programs do range uh, for your students in third through sixth grade. Uh, so we're going to move on and now we're going to again go back to uh, our gate ISHL program, which is one of our academic year programs. Um, and we're going to hear from one of our ISHL students who has attended the program. And again, just a reminder, our ISHL program is a double accelerated program for students in middle and early high school who are interested in English language and literature uh, at an accelerated pace. Uh, so let's hear from Bowie. Hi, my name is Bowie and I attended iShell as my GATE program. It stands for Intensive Studies in the Humanities, Arts, Language, and Literature. That took me a very long time to learn. And um, the reason why I chose this program was because I've always just really, really enjoyed reading and writing. They were my favorite, um, well, one of my favorite hobbies. and. Um, language arts has always been my favorite subject, so I was really interested when I first heard about a program that would essentially cover the first two years of high school, I mean the first four years of high school, in two years, and that seemed like something that was really interesting as well as something that could definitely help my um, essay writing skills, my comprehension skills, and it definitely did, and it was well worth the experience because I think that maybe most of my um, writing expertise comes from this course. It has helped me strengthen my reading and writing skills so much and I would highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys, um, enjoys just writing, enjoys reading, enjoys diving into literature, etc. And my favorite part about the class was the classroom environment. It was really engaging. Everyone was super encouraging and everyone was also very interested in what they were learning. So that was something that helped me engage as well. And also the professor is just the most amazing person. He is super easy to talk to, super interesting to listen to, very um, entertaining and I enjoyed his class very much. And obviously it was made 1,000 times better by the fact that we were all repeatedly reminded about the caffeine merit of citrus fruit. Thanks to Bowie. So that was our ISHL program that she was talking about where you can complete four years of high school curriculum requirements for graduation in two years time. So please go to gifted.msu.edu, click on academic programs and then click on ISHL for more information that is available Hi. to all middle school and early high school students that are interested in advanced English language literature programming. So moving back into uh, bouncing back to our summer programs, we're going to take a look at our IS4GT option for June 21st through 25th. This is an online program in live coding called Making Beats with Code for all of your students in grades six through eight. And we're going to hear from our instructor, uh, Dr. Ben Furman. Ben. Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Furman. In this class, we'll explore the wonderful world of live coding. 
creating music on a laptop by writing code using the Sonic Pi programming language. We'll also look at how to record your own audio and on how to put everything together for a concert. No prior musical or programming experience is needed. And as you can hear, you get really good results in seconds. I've been coding the piece you're hearing all this time. Thanks to Dr. Ben. And if you're interested in coding as well as just learning about making beats with code, check out Ben's program uh, online, live virtual session during June 21st through 25th this coming summer. So moving on, we're going to take a listen and learn a little bit of, uh, from experience and testimonial from one of our MST uh, former participants, MST at MSU or Math Science Technology at Michigan State University is a program that's typically held for one week for rising eighth and ninth graders. So that's all of the current seventh and eighth graders at the time of application. Uh, you work with experts in math, science, and technology in a three course track format. So for example, a gate participant may choose a track which includes competitive math, studio arts, and astro nuclear astrophysics for that one week virtual experience with gate. So we're now we're going to hear from a former participant, Maya, uh, who was with us for many years. I'm just going to talk a little bit about her experiences at MST at MSU. Hi, my name is Maya. I've participated in GATE programs for many years since I was around 11. I participated in CSI, Future Docs, and a range of classes through MST. I originally started doing these programs because I thought I liked science and I really wanted to know sort of which areas of science that I was really interested in because science is a pretty broad topic. And throughout my years in GATE programs, I've had some such cool experiences. I've gotten to work with professors in their own labs and see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and just get a taste of what a career in science looks like. In biology, medicine, forensics, chemistry, everything. And I think one of the most important things that I have gotten out of these programs is it let me figure out which areas of science that I really enjoyed and which areas that I didn't. And one thing now as a college student I realized how much it really prepared me for college, not just in an academic sense, but being able to stay in a college campus and experience professors and classrooms, it made me so feel so much better about actually starting college. And although I've aged out of the programs from participating, I've come back and I've helped the instructors and professors in the GATE programs and helped teach their classes and help these younger students that were, I was once in their place. And yeah, over the years, I've just had such interesting experiences. I've gotten to work with bacteria, DNA in plants and animals. I've seen real brains and real hearts and real labs and everything is just such an authentic and interesting experience and I would just really recommend these to anyone especially those interested in science those looking for a challenge and those trying to figure out what they really want to do. Thanks so much to Maya for talking a little bit about her years with us at MST at MSU. Yeah. Now moving on, we're going to go ahead and bounce back again to one of our academic programs. This is our academic program um, that was uh, originally going to launch this past fall, uh, but due to COVID, we postponed the, the launch of the Manga program, and we're really excited to offer it beginning this fall. Uh, manga is a program that we're offering in a Japanese language. Um, manga is designed so that participating students can, com can complete in three years the full Japanese language content uh, that is assigned by uh, Michigan High School content expectations uh, for all four years in high school, as well as meet all common core 
And the semesters five and six in the third year will correspond to the high school AP Japanese course, as well as prepping students to take the Japanese AP exam in their final semester of manga. Students must be on manga with the Japanese one curriculum. And now we're gonna hear from our instructor, Mr. Jordan Johnson, who's going to teach manga. Just a reminder, our manga program will start this fall and it will start virtually um, due to COVID restrictions. After we will um, share with all of the families uh, the locations that will be available for sure. MSU locations will be available um, and we will uh, let you know at that determination when we are allowed to reopen. But let's right now hear from Jordan Johnson teaching our manga course. Minasan, hajime mashite. Watashi wa MSU no American Jingakse Muke no Nihongo Shu Chugakshu program, manga no Tanto Sha, Jordan Johnson to Moshimas. Yurushiko Negaishimas. Hello, everybody. My name is Jordan Johnson, and I will be running our new gifted and talented education program, uh, Manga, at Michigan State University. Uh, this is a new program that we are launching in the fall, and I have a few slides to share with you today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can follow along with what I am saying. So this program is accelerated. It's for gifted students. And uh, it covers in three years um, what would normally take you five in the public school system. It goes all the way from Japanese one to Japanese five, and it is the pace and rigor of university. Um, it, it can be very difficult to find a Japanese program in the public schools, so this is a great way to take Japanese and get high school credit if you live in Southeast Michigan or live near uh, the campus. So. Um, there are many advantages to learning Japanese. Um, there are a lot of native speakers who live in Southeast Michigan, and you'll have a lot of opportunities to speak with them and make Japanese friends. There's a lot of Japanese companies in the area, and it can definitely help you in your career, and it can help you um, academically as well. It looks great on a college transcript. And um, if you love anime and manga, if that's your thing, um, then learning Japanese can definitely enhance your appreciation for uh, that part of Japanese culture. So I really look forward to seeing you on campus and um, please consider Michigan State University's new manga program through gifted and talented education. Go seicho arigato gozaimashita. Zehi MSU de aimasho. Sayonara. Thanks to our instructor, Jordan Johnson, who will be starting to teach manga the beginning this fall. So if you have students in, interested, just a reminder, the fall session will take place online and then we will notify families for the upcoming sessions uh, once COVID restrictions are lifted of where those locations will continue on for the remainder of the manga program. If you are interested in manga, you can go to the gifted website at gifted.msu.edu, click academic programs and then click manga. It will have more information about application as well as locations and other uh, information uh, that is pertinent to your application as well as acceptance, as well as um, the different dates and availability uh, for when the classes will be. Uh, so please, again, check out manga at gifted.msu.edu. Now moving on, uh, just before we let you go today, we are going to take a quick overview of our Aishal and Champ online course. For those of you who are interested, in our full academic year programs, either in ISHA or CHAMP, but are concerned about access, we are now offering live synchronous sections to be offered again online. They'll begin this fall for the two year, for two year period, which will cover a, a, be a four semester program for your middle and early high schoolers to complete their graduation requirements of four years in the two years time that they're with us. Our same ISHA and CHAMP instructors will be conducting and teaching these sections we will also be offering online tutoring sections that support all of the Aishal and Champ students in these sections as well. Uh, in a second, we're going to take a quick overview. Again, if you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A or after today, you may email us obviously at gifted at msu.edu. And for more information, you can click on our, the gifted website and it will show you all of the times uh, that the classes will be available for your students. So if you are interested, please click on and go to our gate, the gate website uh, and make sure you click on the online sections uh, so you can see when those are available. So now let's take a quick overview of our Aishal and Champ online.
excellent. So once again, that's our Aishal and Champ live synchronous uh, overview of our Aishal and Champ courses that will be uh, for the next two years, again, available online. If you are interested in any of our academic year programs, please consult with your uh, middle and or high school counselors to make sure that credit, uh, appropriate credit will be given and how your student uh, will see that credit on their transcript before you actually apply for a GATE program. If you are interested in a GATE program, uh, applications are still available and our application deadline is coming up very soon, uh, but there is still time available for those. So please go ahead and go to gifted.msu.edu and click apply. If you do need testing, we do have COGAT testing available uh, and that is available on our website at gifted.msu.edu. Uh, and you can click on the testing link. So thank you so much for joining us today. That concludes our presentation. Please continue to feel free to ask any questions in the Q&A or of course, after today, email us at gifted at msu.edu. We do hope to see you online for this summer 2021, but on the hopefully on the MSU campus for the summer of 2022. We thank you so much for your interest in GATE programming and we hope to see you in the near future. Thank you again and have a great day.